Hello YouTube, and welcome to the next episode of Minecrafting with the Wox. I'm the Wox, as usual, and um, first of all, I'd like to apologize. It has been a while since the last video. Uh, this was due to me being extremely busy, and I am actually still extremely busy. But I found some time to do an episode. Um, the other reason would be that the pre-release 1.9 has been constantly delayed. And, you know, I thought, oh, I'll wait till the uh, official 1.9 release and start a new server, and then then I'll do the next video, and then it was delayed and delayed again. Well, you all know how it is, so I thought I'd just uh, make a video anyway, in the old 1.8 world. And uh, we'll take a quick tour, not much has happened, and um, if you look in here, you'll see that I haven't really done anything at all. Uh, because I have been so ridiculously busy, I haven't been able to play Minecraft. Not even for one bloody minute. Well, for one bloody minute. I wanted to make this fireplace here. And this was a flaming minecart. If you set minecarts on fire with lava, and then uh, put them in your house, they would be a uh, completely safe fireplace. But apparently, when you log off and log in again, the fire is gone. So we'll have to remove that at some point. We've still got the uh, the sitting area. Makes me think I should have started the video here. Oh well. Nothing has happened here at all. In this house. You've seen it the last time. Oh. Well, I need to fix that. I have removed the swamp shack. I'm not sure if you saw that in the previous video. But I have. It's now a little monument. The Swamp Shack Monument. Isn't it beautiful? It's the pinnacle of architecture. Absolutely. Um, the Pirate Walrus uh, has been slightly busy. We've all seen this little house. But we haven't seen this crazy mushroom house here. <laughs> Don't you just love these new mushrooms? I thought I would hate them, but I love them. Just like these. They're cool. Very spacey kind of uh, kind of lookout tower here with a good view of the uh, the Darkwood Mansion, which it is now officially named, the Darkwood Mansion right there or Darkwood Manor. Yeah, Darkwood Manor sounds better, doesn't it? It's Darkwood Manor. Hello, chicken. And uh, just down the road here, I did find some time to play uh, with Jared for a bit on the server. I mean, he is also extremely busy, of course, but uh, non I think maybe a week ago we found a couple of hours to play uh, on the server together and we built this uh, half tower. <laughs> Never got a chance to finish it. It'll have to be finished at some point, I'm sure. But this is what we got done in those couple of hours. And since then, uh, Jared certainly hasn't had time to play on the server, nor have I. So it hasn't really changed. Give you a quick tour. There's nothing much here. Just a, just a general floor here. See, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But completely unfinished. I'm thinking the, uh, the finishing of this construction here should uh, happen in the new server. Because I have decided that um, as soon as pre-release 5 comes out, if it comes out, I'll just restart the server with that level generation. Because I'm sure that they won't be tweaking the level generator any further so uh, that's what we'll do as soon as 1.5 comes out uh, pre-release 5 comes out so let's see what do we have here there's a little prototype of an elevator that I had here didn't really work well it kind of worked I'll show you I thought it was uh, SMP safe but it wasn't so what you do is you get in the boat push the button and up you go. And then once you're up, you get out again. You walk off. Little boat goes back down. And you can jump through this special chute. Which is like a water break. Only slightly safer. These, uh... What do you call them? These hatches here. You see. They prevent you from falling on top of the ladder. And dying. And uh, 
that will always slow you down when you land. It's a, it's a nice little drop chute. You can use it in the nether, I guess, because you can't use water there. Just some experimenting that I did. But I was thinking that for this episode, we could, first of all, show off my new skin, because I forgot to last time. Oh, I've got my awesome armor on. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I changed my little guy from Indiana Jones to uh, whatever that is. I did so because his coat looks uh, an awful lot like my coat in real life. So that's why I changed it. I kind of like it. I have this fancy little stub, stubby hand with the uh, with the shirt. It's cool. And I, ooh, hello, zombie. Let's kill him with lava. <laughs> Oh, that wasn't very safe, was it? Oh dear. Let's fix that. There we go. Haha. <laughs> Excellent. So I was thinking, um, I'm not really in a building mood today. Because of the whole 1.9 thing. So I was thinking we could go, uh, go caving for a bit. It's been a while since we've done some caving and... Oops, I need to go this way. That's the spawn village right there. Do I have any food on me? Oh, I do. Good. At least we won't starve to death. Let's see, what do we have here? Any cave? Knowing 1.8, probably. Yeah, there's something going on in here. Let's have a look. No, no. Utter disappointment. Oh, well. Let's go back to Darkwood Manor and jump into the cave system that scared the hell out of me last time. That sent me home crying, but with some resources, if I do recall correctly. I'm sure there's plenty left to explore in there. So let's do so. Let's see, there's Darkwood Manor. We will equip my awesome armor again, lest we die. There we go. Eh, plenty of torches. Do you have any wood on me? I do. It should be fine. And a little lapis, too. Cool. I'm sure we'll be fine. Completely unprepared, but... Let's just go. Oh, hello, squid. Octopi. Ooh, look at that little, like, frisky little fellow there. Ooh, they're the octopi are frisky today. It must be, uh... A storm must be coming. Let's see, where did I... Where did I leave that cave off at? I can't remember. It's probably not such a good idea to go without any food, but meh. We'll see how it goes. Damn you Endermen! Look at this! Moving blocks around without my permission. Oh, I believe this is it. Yes it is, yes it is. Okay. Let's see if we can't find any resources in here, huh? Uh, is it this way? No, that doesn't look like the way. Oh, that looks dark and scary. Let's go over there. That's just a little hole. And by the way, now that I think of it, I like to play on Moody, but for this video, let's say plus 30. If this is too dark for you guys, please do let me know. If it's too light for you, let me know as well. Oh, I missed some iron here earlier. Must be because I was running for my life. I do remember this cave to be quite hostile. So uh, we'll have to see if we ever get out of here. Oh my. This... Whoa, no, no. Wow. I can't believe that happened. How did he sneak up on me? Where did he go? Oh my. <laughs> well, this is a bad start. Remember when I said this cave was not a friendly cave? Well, once again, I was correct. Oh no. Oh no, I oh know. I just died. And I had quite some XP too, so I guess we'll be, uh... I guess we'll be seeing if this guy is gonna lag the server to death. Oh my god, that was terrible. The lag seems okay. Oh man, I need to get my stuff. That was quite a lot of stuff I had on me there. 
best run back, get my stuff, and uh, try again, I guess. My goodness. You'll have to excuse me for sounding a little tired. Because, uh, like I said, I have been crazy busy lately on something that I will share with you soon, by the way. And when I say soon, I mean someday in the future when it is ready. You know what... M when I say soon, you all know it means possibly never. As in, I'll make more videos soon, guys, I promise. <laughs> We all know what that means. God. Don't be too harsh on me, though. 40 hour work week plus a very secret project, which is taking up all of my free time. I mean, it's a lot of fun, but it is a lot of hard work as well. And I guess I'll share. Oh, this is where I died, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes, my stuff. Let's grab it. Let's grab my XP, too. There we go. I'm like a vacuum cleaner. A very, very cool vacuum cleaner, mind you. Let's quickly throw on this armor again, which didn't help us at all. Oh my god. Um, yeah, and the torches. There we go, we're back on track. Anyway, the project that I was talking about. And this is a secret, so hush hush. I am programming a game in Java. As many of you, I guess, or at least uh, a lot of people in general, I have always dreamed to make my own indie game. And um, not too long ago, I finally decided to give it a try, because I am a programmer in real life. So I thought, you know, I should be able to do this. Let's uh, give it an honest try, you know? And I have to admit, the whole process is absolutely thrilling. It's a... Okay, never mind about that. It is, it is really a lot of fun. It is not easy, mind you. Because we're not talking about like a game maker game or games factory game or what have you. That is, that's not a real game, is it? No, we're talking about a, uh, a game that I wrote in Java. And it's coming along nicely, but my goodness, there is a lot of math involved in these things. <laughs> Lots of sines, cosines, pi. Not the tasty kind, mind you. The mathematical kind. It's not tasty at all. It's terrible. Oh, this looks dangerous. This looks way too dangerous for me. Especially because I'm running out of torches. But let's... <gasps> I thought I heard a creeper there. <laughs> let's cautiously continue on. Grabbing all the resources that we can. Because I'm almost out of everything. So like I was saying, yeah, I'm programming a game, and as soon as it is anywhere near completed, I will certainly share some videos with you about this game. I honestly shouldn't be talking about it, but I, um, I'm terrible at keeping secrets. So I won't really tell you what it's about. All I will tell you is that it is a uh, top-down view game, 2D, kind of kind of funky looking, kind of in a good way, funky in a good way. <laughs> oh look, it's outside. Maybe we should cut our losses and go back. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Because uh, well, we got 20 iron and this is not too shabby, not too shabby. This is obviously not a good caving day anyway. I don't have the enthusiasm for it. After all, it's only fun with me screaming like a little girl. I mean, where's the entertainment factor in me just standing there like some kind of a rake? When a fist creeper blows up in my face, and my only response is, Oh my, that's a bit dry, isn't it? So let's do that another time. So like I was saying, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it's like a top-down view game. Um, it does take place in a completely randomly generated universe. Infinite in all directions. Kind of like Minecraft, but uh, that's where the uh, comparison stops, I'm afraid. Just uh, randomly generated. I think that's important in games these days, you know? Gives the player a sense of uniqueness. Always something new to explore. In any case, the whole process of making a game is, is very exciting. And I definitely hope, and this is just, uh, this is just a fool's dream here, but I de definitely hope that at some point I might actually be able to make a little money off it. And, um... Well, let's just say I'm 
I'm taking a serious go for uh, for becoming an indie game developer. You know, it, it's a uh, like I said, it's a it's a fool's dream. But um, we have a little saying, Holland, and that is, if you never shoot, you'll always miss. It's the rough translation. It sounds better in Dutch, but you know what it means. You have to try, otherwise you'll fail automatically. So, as soon as I have something there, I'll be sure to show you guys. And, of course, as is uh, the current fashion in indie games, I'll definitely be releasing an alpha <coughs> at some point, And I'll definitely be asking you guys for input, you know, what would you like to see, and uh, such and such. And I'll definitely implement some of those ideas. So, uh, I'm definitely hoping that I can show you some soon. Until then, I'm going to be extremely busy, to be certain. Don't worry, by the way, I'm not going to quit making Minecraft videos. It's just, you know, it's a little quiet in Let's Play land at the moment because of this whole 1.9 thing. Because everyone wants to play 1.9, but it hasn't been officially released yet. And I'm not about to restart this world on a pre-release and then discover that I have to restart it again in November. So, uh, yeah, let's not do that. Until then, I'm going to uh, keep developing my game, which is progressing rather rapidly. You know, it's um, it's coming along, so I don't think it would be too long until I can show you something. And I just had a thought about what we can do in this uh, this space, by the way, while I ramble on. Um, so yeah, I'll show you some of that soon. I think I've talked enough about that. Enough teasing with me not giving you any details. Let's see, do I have any wood? No. Oh, but I do have fence gates, which is exactly what I wanted to make. Just, uh, just had a thought. Watch this. Huh? That's pretty cool. I like it. But I don't like that one. There we go. <laughs> hey, not too shabby. That's a good idea. Good job, Walks. So, about November, by the way. Which ones of you are lucky enough to be going to Minecon, huh? I bet that's going to be an exciting event. Ah, oh, I wish I could go. But it, I very much doubt that, um, A, I would have the money to travel to Las Vegas for a bloody week. Or however long that, um, that thing is going to go on. And uh, I very much doubt my work would like it if I left for that long. It's not fair, but then again, what you gonna do? So who is going to Minecon? You excited? Bet you are. I envy you. Do send me lots of pictures of Minecon, not, not the other kind. I would certainly love to see some pictures or videos or whatever of people going to Minecon because I bet that's exciting. Oh, I wish I could go. Oh, it makes me so sad. So let's see. We just put this one here. And oh, we need one more. Does it even look good? Does it work? Let's see. What do you guys think? Does that work? I think it kind of works. Let me know. And uh, I received a lot of suggestions for what to do with these uh, these two rooms. I think one of them is definitely going to be a laboratory of sorts. Because uh, one needs a laboratory in 1.9, doesn't he? Which is kind of cool. You know, a little bit of laboratory with the enchantment table there as well, that kind of stuff. And, um, what else, what else? Oh yeah, there was the uh, suggestion of making one like a, like a bar, or a lounging area. I mean, I guess I already have a little, uh, a little meeting hall over there. You know, it's the meeting area. Everyone has his own chair. And we sit there and converse. At least that's the idea. It never happened. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm thinking a uh, maybe a lounging area over here. Maybe the laboratory over there. Let's see, where was it? Oh, here it was. There we go. Very small little bit of building for this episode. It's, it's a talkie. It's just me talking about things that excite me and things that do not excite me, such as 1.9 and how it's constantly delayed. 
My goodness. Anyway, I just wanted to make a quick little update video. Um, so I guess that's what this is going to be. In conclusion, Minecon, awesome. I wish everyone a lot of fun there. I wish everyone a good time. I'm not sure how one would... I have lost my train of thought, but that's all right. Have fun at Minecon if you're going. And if you're not going, I feel your pain. Yes, I do. And, um, yeah, creating a little game is going to be very exciting. And uh, I'll definitely show you that once it's ready enough. Which will be soon, hopefully, because I'm spending a lot of time on it. And, um, the next episode will certainly be soon. But I kind of wanted to wait until 1.9, you know. I know it's a long time, so I won't, probably won't do that, but... You know, I'm a little bummed out on this 1.8 world. Because I know it's gonna have to go. So nothing feels like it has a point. In any case, let me know what you think about these things. Let me know what you think about Minecon. 1.9. It'll be fun. We'll have a conversation. <laughs> Until then, um, I will see you in the next episode of Minecrafting with the Box.